All right. So, let's let you hear. Um, I know this is a bit of a um, different scenario. We're going to put it like that, be honest about this. Um, I hope you're all having fun with my live streams with Tears of the Kingdom. I know I've certainly been enjoying it. And that's one of the reasons why I'm here today. Um, I got a little Tears of the Kingdom background going on right now. It's actually playing straight from the game because I want some background music too. I thought it would be nice. I'm here to deliver a, a bit of sad news for you guys. I will not be continuing my live streams of Tears of the Kingdom at this moment. I know this is a huge downer for everybody who did like watching my streams and I do apologize for it. The thing is, is that I'm, I'm, I'm going to kind of tangent a little bit here, going to go on a bit. I got Breath of the Wild literally after the Animal Crossing version of the Nintendo Switch came out. So I was already pretty damn late to the party. Breath of the Wild was like talked to death about the whole nine yards. So everyone was kind of sick of Breath of the Wild by the time I got into it. When I got into it, it was pretty much just before the pandemic started. And I don't have the best relationships with my folks. Uh, there's a lot of toxic shit going on. I don't want to bore y'all with it. But basically, um, basically, that game, it got me through the pandemic. It got me through so much bullshit that was happening in my life. And it was just such an experience. I spent over 340 hours in that game. And I am very proud to say I am one of the few crazy people who have actually 100% of the game. Like really 100% of it on master mode. And I'm not just gloating for the sake of gloating here, even though I totally could. I, I have done that. Every, every quest, every side quest, 19 main quests, 42 side quests, all 36 shrines from the champions, ballad, I got all 120 shrines, all 900 Korok seeds, found 400, over 400 of them, manually, without, uh, like, just running around with the Korok mask, really, and a lot before even finding the Korok mask, and then I finally managed to get some maps. Then go with like the two in-depth ones because I wanted to find them myself, but it's just nice to have a little way marker to try and find all the Koroks. And so I did it. I found all the Koroks. I took a pictures of like literally all of the things. I got the motorcycle. I wish I got the motorcycle a lot sooner. Oh my god. And I I did it blind. I didn't go for any guides or any cheats or anything. The only thing I went for after like a shit ton of hours was just Korok maps to find them. And that game, there was so much magic in that game. It was so nice to just lose myself, to immerse myself fully in this world. And it's something I haven't been able to do in years and years. And Breath of the Wild, it just captured me and took me along for the ride. And I cherish every moment of it. And Tears of the Kingdom is doing the same damn thing. I mean, I figured, okay, I'm older, I'm not going to be as affected anymore and want to, like, zone out completely, ignore everything, and just let myself be a feral little gremlin for a bit. But within the first live stream, within the first hour, I felt it. I felt that beautiful feeling of just let your mind go and just enjoy it. But then I thought to myself, I can't. Because then I'd stop talking. Then I'd stop reading then the stream would get really fucking boring because I wouldn't be doing any fun voices for everybody and I wouldn't be doing a whole bunch of fun stuff, really. I like to try and make it entertaining, not just for myself, but for my viewers too. I mean, that's why you guys show up, right? For entertainment, because life is boring and dull and really hard and taxes suck and a whole nine yards. So... I wanted to try and make this a wonderful experience for everybody, but within the first few hours, I, I did three big live streams. I'll be uploading um, this right after I upload the third one, um, because you know you guys you guys deserve to see it. You guys deserve to see 
the work that's gone into it. That I've got a good 20 hours in this game already. But, um, yeah. I felt so conflicted because part of me is like, okay, well, what happens when I go up to Grandma's house? I won't be able to stream it. I won't be able to really play it or anything because then I won't be able to share all of the experiences with you guys. And then I thought to myself, I want 100% this. I want to do the same stupid, crazy-ass shit that I did in Breath of the Wild. And I want 100% this thing down to the point where I am collecting every single article of clothing and upgrading it to the maximum level just because I can. Not because it's smart, just because I can. So, yeah. It's one of those things where if I continue on this path, I, um, I won't be entertaining to you guys. It'll be boring, it'll be long, it'll be drawn out. And I feel like I'll be losing part of the magic of this game by experiencing all of these things just and trying to make it entertaining the whole way through and not just experiencing it and feeling all of the emotions that I know this game wants to give me. So I've resetted my file and I will be playing through the entire game by myself because I need this for myself. It's selfish, I know, and I apologize for that, but this game, yeah. This game is gonna be like a healing journey for me. Breath of the Wild got me through bullshit. Tears of the Kingdom is kind of marking my new life away from that bullshit. So yeah, I'm keeping Tears of the Kingdom to myself, but don't think that I'm just dropping off the face of the planet. There's still gonna be live streams. There's still gonna be fun stuff. Um, I have a Discord now called the Cozy Crystarian. It's my own little group. Um, I will have a channel put up. I already have it going called TOTK Spoilers and Stuff. And if you kind of want a bit of a play-by-play, -play, things that I found and discovered and dumb shit, I will post it in there. Because, I mean, I'm, I'm a bit of a theorist. I have a lot of fan theories. I've got a lot of crazy ideas. I've got a lot of, like, I fucking do it kind of moments that I'll be posting in there. Uh, so if you guys want to jump in and read all about that, you're more than welcome to hop into that channel and read along. And, um, yeah, sorry, I'm not the best at this. I'm feeling kind of guilty about the whole thing. I don't like the idea that I'm just kind of ending a series like this, especially like literally only three episodes in, but I feel it's for the best for me. So yeah, this is what we're doing. And, um, join into Cozy Crystarian. We're going to be having little polls, general chat. It's a friendly group. So um, if you're not joined already, feel free to join in. And uh, if you are joined, yay, thank you, welcome back. <laughs> um, we, we will be playing other games. I'll put up a poll or two in a little while because I got some shit coming up in the next couple of days so I won't be able to do anything right away. I'll also be establishing a much better streaming schedule for myself. My previous run with Skyward Sword was like six days of utter fucking hell. I'm sorry, like, I absolutely love that game. It's absolutely giddy and gear him his baby. But holy shit, I wasn't eating properly. I wasn't be I wasn't able to get my laundry done. The dishes weren't getting done. I seriously needed to clean my house afterward. My God, I spent like a whole day just loafing around and cleaning my house afterward because it just needed to be done. So um, my life kind of went off the rails because of the live streaming because I was trying to stream every single day. And I realize now that that's nowhere near healthy. I need to get myself a better schedule. So within the next few weeks, I will be crafting a better schedule, trying my best to adhere to that schedule, the whole nine yards, because I want to make this a good experience for everybody, for all of my viewers, for all of my fans, even for my art scene, because I know I haven't really been doing much in the way of 3D modeling and such. I am on some severe effing burnout right now. That's honestly pissing me off because there's a lot of projects I got to finish up and things I want to do and I'm behind on my projects, but well, shit happens and I'm working through it. Anyway, um, I just wanted to make this apology video and explanation video for you guys 
as to why the live streams for Tears of the Kingdom is unfortunately not continuing. But that doesn't mean the Tears of the Kingdom is gone from this channel for good. You see, once I eventually, it's probably going to take a really long time, uh, get through the main game and everything else, I do actually plan on making some fun little blooper videos and challenges and stuff with it. Like, once I manage to 100% that shit, I'm sure you guys would love to see what a 100% file is like and all of the other little shenanigans that go along with it. I mean, I learned 11 speedrunning strategies for Breath of the Wild. I can't wait to figure out what I can figure out how to do in Tears of the Kingdom. So, yeah. That's what's happening, guys. So, thank you all so much for joining me with this adventure. And while it is unfortunately coming to a bit of a close now, I do hope that you will join me for other adventures that I'll be doing. Because this isn't the last adventure. This definitely is not the last adventure. Not into Hyrule, not into any of that. I'd love to kind of go over all the games if possible. But we'll make a good streaming schedule. We'll figure things out. I'm sure we will. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to catch you all next time. Seletra, out.